going to going back to Lahul AM. Uh, it started snowing already. The forecast was to snow after around 10 a.m., 8 to 10 a.m., but it's 8 a.m. and it started snowing now. Anyway, I'm going to Udaipur uh, to meet a friend there. And from there, there are two festivals called Your Festivals. One in the Triloknath village and one in Matgram. Uh, it looked very unique and I saw the photos and videos online. So I'm very excited to go check out those festivals. But first I have to reach Udaipur safely because it must be snowing heavily on that side as well. And, and this region is prone to avalanches. But yeah, it's been like clear for the last five to six days. So there won't be any danger of avalanches immediately. Uh, maybe from tonight onwards, avalanches will start to fall. So I should be mostly safe. But yeah, just have to drive carefully and I'll reach safely. सूरज हियर ये गांव का नाम क्या है कुकुम सिरी हम लोग जा रहे हैं अभी इत्रोकनाथ योर फेस्टिवल देखने के लिए टुडे विल बी जस्ट थोड़ा प्रिपरेशन है ना कितना बजे बोला आप अभी अभी किरा जब पिछली बार हाँ उस समय भी किरा उसी समय किरा तो और दो तीन दिन के बाद इस दिन बस चार दिन तीसरे दिन सुबह और तीसरे दिन सुबह ऐसा तो कभी नहीं किया भी जी मैंने इतना बड़ा अपने कभी नहीं अच्छा भी कितना दो तीन इंच पड़ा होता है जी चिंदा ना पड़ेगा चिंदा ये वाला तो रास्ता नहीं डालने में हाँ जी दूसरा वो फिर रस्सी लगाना पड़ेगा क्या क्या करना पड़ता है जी निकल जाता है वो बहुत बहुत हाँ जी With the snow chains fitted, the Rebo was able to climb the incline comfortably and took us on a beautiful drive to Triloknath amidst a spectacular winter landscape. We arrived in Triloknath just in time to see the preparations for the Yore festival. The villagers were building a large snow cone called the Rashi. This will be the center point around which the festivities of the Yore Mela would be conducted. It was fascinating to see the Rashi being built in the midst of the heavy snowfall. It 
it was also a bit concerning as Triloknath is surrounded by many avalanche zones. And with the snowfall getting heavier, the avalanches could fall any time and block the roads. So we had to leave Triloknath while the road was still drivable. There was around half a feet of snow on the road by this point and when we went to the rebob, we realized that one of the snow chains had fallen off on the way to Triloknath. We looked out for the missing chain on our way back but it was buried under the snow and we were unable to find it. Please pass in your seat back. There was one section where the Rebo struggled to climb an incline. A couple of hours after reaching Kukumsiri, we got information that an avalanche fell on the road that we had just travelled on. This was the start of the numerous avalanches that fell in the area during the night. The water level in the Chenab increase drastically now and it's flowing with a lot of sand and snow debris which means that I think the river must have been dammed maybe last night by an avalanche and it just managed to break free. Just a couple of minutes back, you know, we heard a sound like thunder and actually thought it was thunder, but I think it was the river breaking free from the dam the avalanche created and flowing back now. Yeah, the water level was very low in the morning and my, uh, the owner, the father of my friend was telling me that the river was dammed somewhere and it was true. Just look at, just look at how much fast the river is flowing. The water was crystal, crystal clear in the morning. Totally dark now. This is my second day at Kukumsari. It was snowing for two straight days. And finally, the sun has come out. Just see the state of the place. Huh. So we had actually cleared all the snow from my car yesterday. But again, last night, around one feet, maybe a little bit more than one feet of snow fell. So, this is the Kukumsari village. The locals say that the snow was very wet, 
सो इट कैन ट्रिगर अ लॉट ऑफ एवलेंचेस सो दे हास्क मी टू बी वेरी केयरफुल एंड नॉट टू वेंचर आउट टू फार अवे फ्रॉम द विलेज बिकॉज देर आर स्ट्रीम्स नलस ऑन बोथ साइड्स ऑफ द विलेज एंड दिस एवलेंचेस विल कम ऑन दोस नलस एनी टाइम टूडे सो सीक्रेटली आई एम होपिंग टू विटनेस एन अवलेंच बट या मे बी आई विल विटनेस इट बट रेकॉर्डिंग इट विल बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज बाय द टाइम यू सी इट एंड यू टेक आउट द कैमरा इट विल बी गॉन बट या लेट सी टाइम टू वॉक अराउंड अट मे बी टेक सम टाइम लब्सेस एंड जस्ट एंजॉय द स्नोफॉल so the old bridge you know connecting kukumseri to trilognath broke today from the weight of the snow and that accumulated on it for the past two days <coughs> so it's a pity because nobody will repair the bridge now and because since the new bridge is built so the old bridge will be maybe dismantled or just left like this but it looks so nice so beautiful but this is the end of the bridge now with the old bridge already broken the local officials were not taking any chances and were busy clearing the snow from the new bridge across the chenna river there was around 3 to 4 foot of snow on the bridge and the workers toiled the entire day to clear all the snow from the bridge <laughs> Once the snowfall stopped, the local BRO unit started clearing the snow from the road almost immediately. There were a lot of avalanches blocking the road, and it would take a while for the BRO to clear all of them and open the road towards Manali. After a week of patient waiting, the road to Manali finally opened. It was another beautiful drive in a snow covered landscape peppered with avalanches. A few kilometers before the Atal Tunnel, the road was blocked again. Oh, oh, oh. This block was not due to an avalanche, 
but was caused by soil erosion from the river below the mountain slopes were so saturated with water from the melting snow that they started to give way and fall into the river below the bro worked vigilantly to cut the slopes and create a safe passage for the vehicles to cross the sliding point Once the final obstacle was crossed it was a smooth drive to the atal tunnel and onwards to manali